Hi, I'm Bill Myers and this is another one of my video tips of the week. In this week's video tip, we're going to deal with vertical video. The vertical video occurs when you're shooting your cell phone and you have it held vertically rather than horizontally and the video that you end up with is tall rather than wide. This is called portrait mode rather than landscape mode. And when you edit it and you want to upload to YouTube or play it somewhere else, it's not going to fill the full video's display screen. There'll be black bars on the left and right. And in this video tip, I'm going to show you how to edit that so it doesn't look quite as bad. Now, ideally, you'll learn to shoot video in horizontal modes, and you won't have to deal with vertical video. But sometimes it happens, or sometimes someone will send you a clip to some vertical format, and you have to deal with it. So let me show you what to do. We're going to use Vegas Movie Studio 15, but this works the same in almost any video editing. First thing you want to do is go up to Project, choose Properties, and set the Project Properties. In this case, I'm going to set it to 720-30p simply because that's going to be a little easier to edit when I'm recording this video. Then click OK. Next thing you want to do is you want to click Project and then Add Media. In my case, I've already added the media from the phone. I've got it right here in my media pool. I'm going to pull it down into a video track. And it says, do I want to set the project video settings to match the media? In this case, no. Now, if we put our mouse over it, we can see in our preview monitor what vertical video looks like. There's the video itself. And here's the black space that's not recorded when you record vertically. Now there are a number of things you can do. One of the easiest things that rarely works is to move your mouse down here where it says Event Pan and Crop. Click on it and in the Pan and Crop window right click, choose Match Output Aspect. What this do will resize the video to match the output aspect ratio you've set. So let's click that. And you can see immediately it's almost resolved the issue. It now has full screen. Unfortunately, it doesn't show what we want to show. Now, in our pan and crop window, we can use the zoom tool to zoom into the video like this, just zooming in by using the scroll keys. And then we can also move the video frame up. So in some cases, if you use the method I've just shown, which is right-click and choose Match Aspect Output Ratio, you might be able to get the video work. In this case, the video shows up a close-up of the cat, at least in that element. Unfortunately, it's going to miss a lot of the vertical video format. So if you have people in it or if you shot it with a tall building or something, using this method isn't going to work. So let's turn that off and we do that by going to Pan and Crop and choosing Restore. And it still shows our vertical video. Now what they do on a lot of news programs when they have vertical video is they'll duplicate the video itself and then zoom in so the background is filled with the widescreen version of the video. Let me show you what that is. We'll pull that video track down and put it below the track that we already have. There it is. We have two video tracks. We come to the bottom video track, the one that's below the top one. We click on the pan and crop. We right click. We choose match output aspect. And again, what you do in the pan and crop window is you have to move it so that you can see what you're actually doing. So when I match the output aspect, it made that back video fit the top video. And what I can do is I can zoom that up a little bit. You can see it fills the screen now, but it is kind of confusing because we have the two videos there. Well, we can resolve that, and what they do on the broadcast news is a lot of a blur effect. And we'll do the same thing by clicking Event Effect. We'll make sure we select Vegas. We choose Blur. We're going to do a radio blur. We double click that to make sure it shows up in our plugin chooser here, and then we click OK. And on the radio blur here, you can see that we have different controls. If you watch this area as I move the slider of the blur, you can see that the background blur is out pretty good. And right there, it actually looks pretty nice. And when we play it, you're going to be focused on the center area, and the background colors will fill in quite nicely. And if we play that, you can see it helps us focus in on the center video itself. So that's fairly easy to do, but again, that may not work for what you want to do. Another thing that people can do is you can just put a photograph back there. And the way you do that, you find something here on the screen that works for you. Let's say the, we like that one right there. We go up here to this little disk icon that says Save Snapshot to File. We click that. It asks us what do we want to call this. I'm going to call this Image 2 and click Save. And it shows up in our media pool. And now that's in our media pool, I can drag it down below the video clip. I can stretch it for the length of the video clip just by dragging it like that. And if I put my mouse pointer over it, you can see what it would look like. Next thing I do is I choose Event Pan and Crop. We're going to right click and choose Match Output Aspect. We're going to zoom in so we can see what we have here. We're also going to resize the Pan and Crop window so we can see what it looks like. And then we're going to zoom into our image until we get the one that we want. 
Now this is very much like what we did with the video, but in this case we're going to have a still image so it doesn't move around as the video plays. And just like before, we're going to go in and choose Effect. We're going to choose a Blur Effect. We're going to choose the Radio Blur. Click OK. We push the blur strength up until the background is blurred out. And now when we play the video, the background is always going to stay like that, but the video itself will play. So that's fairly easy to do. It's just a variation of the, putting the two video tracks. The final thing that you can do, which doesn't work in a lot of cases, is to insert a color down there. And the way you do that is you right click in the video track itself. You choose Insert Generated Media. On the Generated Media screen, you choose Vegas Solid Color. You click OK. You come over here and choose the color you want. We're going to choose uh, different colors. You can see on the screen over here what the different colors will look like. Now the only time you might want to do this is when you want to add a text on the black bars around the vertical video. In most cases that doesn't work. It looks kind of amateurish. What usually works is to go ahead and put a second video track below like we did earlier. Once you've done this once, you can do it in just a matter of seconds, and that generally gives you the best results. Again, it's better to start out with landscape mode video rather than vertical video, but when you can't, this is a nice little trick to make it look good. thought you might be interested in knowing how to do this. I'm Bill Myers. This has been another one of my video tips of the week. You can find more like this at www.bmyers.com.